Hello YouTube, this is short tutorial, uh, additional short tutorial how to make a sleeve antenna plus a dipole antenna. Uh, here is all tools uh, you need. Uh, instead gas torch you can use ordinary to uh, uh, soldering iron or soldering station. First uh, let's choose coaxial cable. I have two choices. RG uh, 178 which is very thin cable. Uh, it's very flexible and it can be bent uh, easy to manipulate but uh, it is better uh, to use uh, RG 316 cable because uh, thicker is always better in by means of RF, RF signals so for Wi-Fi or 2.4 gigahertz cut 95 millimeters I'm using a uh, cutting uh, mat for this purpose 3 six nine and five millimeters uh, this is because uh, quarter wavelength is about 31 millimeter but when you include shortening factor on uh, dipole it is actually uh, 29 millimeter also I checked uh, good antennas for Wi-Fi it has also 29 uh, millimeters so why not uh, use this uh, uh, let me a uh, little bit make round because of cutting and now important part is uh, make router 30 millimeters uh, you will see very shortly why just uh, roll but not press too much so that uh, you doesn't does not uh, hurt this braided part uh, just remove insulation which is uh, a little bit difficult to remove but not impossible uh, dispose this part and now sleeve uh, begins here to roll to turn upside down inside out uh, this part is pretty tricky but uh, is possible to do do it few times if needed or <laughs> If you have no patient, you can cut this part and uh, put over this on the solder. I found this is easier and as you can see, it is already done. Uh, this part, bottom part should be 26 millimeters. Let me check. It is about 26 millimeters, a little bit shorter, but this is uh, something like a balloon element. Now, the radiating part is 29 millimeters uh, I cut uh, 30 millimeters but one millimeter is reserved uh, for thickness of this bride to make uh, end of this part make a little bit of solder I will use another soldering arrow which is preheated to 300 degrees Celsius and uh, just make so blob of solder so that it doesn't move uh, like that now this is one part uh, let me let me solder first dipole antenna uh, do not cut uh, this wire because there is reason uh, make solder here for uh, if you plan to put on quadcopter I will show you now because if you cut uh, it will be too long now from this inner part so the, from this insulation measure exactly 29 millimeters and cut there so I will try to put my finger 29 millimeter and cut here check again yep 29 28.5 okay I, I mess it but you know what I mean okay now for quadcopter you want uh, to receive a signal from all directions let it like this not like this not like this but exactly like so if you want to transmitter to transmit maximum power in one direction make V and uh, now maximum uh, uh, 
this, this angle is about 120 degrees. Now, maximum radiation is uh, in this direction. Less uh, radiation will be on uh, this direction and spread out. Also, if you uh, put antenna on your transmitter like this, you can uh, make it uh, like so, so that maximum is in front. Uh, secure this part by means of uh, uh, some glue, hot glue, glue or epoxy or something, because uh, now it will fall, because if you do many times it will just fall out. <laughs> because I'm, uh, when cutting, uh, before this video I did uh, cut too much, and let me repeat, uh, I'm not used, I changed the uh, blade now it is very sharp <laughs> and um, this means that uh, it is easy to screw up <laughs> to mess job now explanation about this sleep uh, explanation is uh, as follows let me again check 29 millimeters and it is here uh, cut always a little bit longer in the case that, uh, yep, 29 millimeters. Uh, RF signal from the coaxial cables is not balanced. Dipole, dipole is balanced uh, because it's symmetric, but uh, coaxial cables is not symmetric. So, for example, uh, if there is GOES plus, uh, there should be minus, but there is uh, different uh, capacity on each uh, part. This part of uh, coaxial cable prevent uh, standing wave reflection by means of uh, signal goes over this cable and here reflects back uh, changing phase so that the uh, phase is uh, opposite of th this part. Uh, when it, this is positive, this will be negative. This part uh, doing exactly this balloon or balanced, unbalanced, uh, let's say transformer uh, adapting part. and. Since we get uh, five millimeters more than needed, also this uh, length of the, uh, the cable is uh, uh, quarter lambda multiplied by odd number. If by one, this will be 24 point something millimeters, three times is uh, 64 millimeters. So that is uh, about uh, uh, completely 95 uh, uh, minus uh, 30 is exactly 65 but uh, I, I put a little bit longer because velocity factor doesn't work when you uh, do next thing which is needed if you want to solder it on uh, board on controller board with the receiver sorry I'm missing because uh, I cannot see properly because tri tripod is between me and the uh, working place. Tripod, tripod. <laughs> My English. Okay, now make uh, sufficiently long. Uh, I will put link in the description and on my web page. Now I uh, made decision to make my page uh, more how to say um, more data complete uh, complete tutorial how to increase range of your quadcopter but also for people who uh, wanted to do it for wi-fi okay i did it too short um, sorry uh, bear with me i'm a little bit clumsy did not measure exactly five millimeters, but uh, you will get idea. So, where uh, was your antenna piece of wire, about three centimeter, put uh, hot wire here, hot center wire, and ground put uh, somewhere close, uh, where is ground uh, present. Um, uh, I have just bad example. For example, this transmitter ground is here, but usually on board somewhere, uh, let's pretend that this is antenna. Somewhere you can find uh, ground, so you can solder uh, center wire whereas antenna and the ground somewhere close, in close proximity. The closer the better. But uh, 
uh, everything up to uh, let's say five six millimeters okay so this is antenna for quadcopter and if you want antenna for remote uh, controller bent like this and insert uh, uh, make hole and uh, uh, there is cover and uh, a little bit tricky or you can add this uh, part later your choice and please secure uh, with hot glue or uh, some epoxy glue this part because of transportation it will move uh, and will fall again and you should to solder again and again in the case you lost this part it will just act like, like a quarter wave antenna uh, which is not that bad not bad at all but to maximum range I want uh, that this V shape antenna uh, pointing in this direction I got 1.1 kilometer range I bet I can get a little bit more I cannot guarantee much more but little bit more so that's it uh, people thank you for watching uh, please rate comment if you have question ask uh, subscribe if you uh, didn't subscribe and uh, uh, visit my web page. I will include link uh, to my web page uh, uh, about this. Okay, bye bye.